Well, it is truly another great day to be a beaver, for sure. Thank you all for being here. I want to take a minute and thank uh, our search committee and uh, chaired by Kim Massey, Senior Associate AD, for their great work. And special thanks to uh, the great one, Darwin Barney, for his uh, efforts as a alumni representative on the committee as well. Would also like to thank uh, Pat Casey, who's here, uh, served as my special consultant, and I want to thank him for that and for 25 years of excellent service and building what we have today, Pat. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me also thank Pat Bailey for his diligence and dedication as interim head coach this year. Pat, thank you very much. So if you've been around Beaver Nation for a while, you know a guy by the name Mitch Canham as a player, one of the undisputed uh, leaders, captain, an All-American on the 2006-2007 national championship uh, teams here. What you may not know about Mitch Canham is the manager, the coach, the leader who has had a meteoric rise with the Mariners organization. One of the front office executives there told me that he is the talk of the entire organization. He's in a position uh, that others uh, are 10 years older in the same position, and he has been outstanding ever since. Another source suggested that when he walked in to see Mitch in, in the program, he, he walked into a clubhouse that had the best culture of any clubhouse he'd ever seen. His players have exceeded their expectations. Mitch is a leader that connects with his student athletes. Mitch is a leader that understands the development of a student is not just about the talent and the skill, but about the whole person. We are indeed in a position for a bright future here with our baseball program. And I am absolutely delighted to introduce you to our new head baseball coach, Mitch Canham. Well, to say a few words, uh, I actually prepared a document because I get so excited about this opportunity and this university and the baseball program and the community. I, see, I'm already starting to go, but I made sure I wrote it down so I stay on script because uh, I can go on for hours or days or years, if you like, hopefully many, many years, uh, about how wonderful um, this place really is. It's so good to be back home. I'm grateful for the experience and excited to be here today. I'd like to thank Scott Barnes, uh, the Selection Committee and President Ray for this opportunity to lead the men of Oregon State's baseball program and especially Coach Casey. Thank you. You have been my coach and mentor for many years and I feel like I've been taking everything you've taught me combined with the things I've learned from other baseball coaches and leaders like Andy McKay of the Mariners, the legendary Dan Wilson, a hero of mine, Chris Forbes of the Colorado Rockies, and countless others, um, and the players I've coached along the way, and of course, my O State baller team from back in the day, guys like Darwin Barney and Kevin Gunderson and many, many others um, who've helped me be where I'm at right now and made me the man I am today. I'm looking forward to working with the coaching staff here uh, and settling into life um, in this beautiful city. And with my wife, Marlis, and our kids, Mac and Maya, to, to be home to really be home. There's a lot of hard work ahead, but I'm so grateful for the opportunity. I know our motto uh, for the athletic department is to build ex excellent, authentic, visionary student athletes, and I promise you I'll be giving my heart and soul to this and everything I've learned on the field to taking care of this task. I owe my professional life to the people and principals of this department, and I'm deeply committed to giving back as good as I got to, by putting my focus here and helping the student athletes achieve their very best academically, um, helping their technical skills on the field, and really what it means to be a strong man and leader life after baseball. Um, you're, not, you're not just a team when you walk on the field to play. 
And you don't stop being a team when you walk off the field. I don't even like using the word team. We're a family. And it's a 24-7 kind of thing. It's a 24-7 opportunity that we get to take care of our family, challenge ourselves, learn by our mistakes, and always strive to compete against ourselves, become a better player, a better student, and a better human being. Through Coach Casey's example, I learned what it takes, dedication, sacrifice, and commitment to becoming an everyday champion. I look forward to this amazing opportunity to mold a team of young student athletes into exceptional human beings and send them out into our community and the world. My passion for this program is second to none, and I've lived for the orange and black since I attended OSU. My wife, Marlis, and I believe this is where our family belongs, and we will help continue the tradition of excellence both on and off the field uh, while advancing the positive influence of Beaver Nation. Thank you for having me. Questions? Questions. When I stepped on campus in the fall of 2002, <laughs> <laughs> the first, the first, the first time I met Case, he was wearing, he was wearing a, well, a white pair of Nike shoes, and I can tell you they were all but white. They were definitely brown. And when I when I met the man and I saw him working on the field, and I met Dan Spencer, I knew I wanted to be a part of this for my life. As far as this particular opportunity, though, when the job opened last September and Pat was hired, was that when you started thinking about it, or, or did it start to become more a real thing? Well, I will tell you, in 2006, I talked to Darwin about it and told him that someday we'd, we'd be coming back here and talked about how cool that would be. But um, as, the, as things started to move, it was always something in the back of my mind that I would love to do. But... Um, What's important to me is being present where I'm at and my job with the Seattle Mariners and the athletes, they deserve my full attention. So I, you know, I was doing my best to be present with them. With this in my mind, I knew that you know, we were going to take care of it. The process was going to take care of itself. Um, and we have a lot of amazing people involved in this program. So I knew no matter what, it was going to be in great hands. Scott, you got this done pretty quickly. Um, what was the process? How many people did you interview? And, and then why, when did you decide on this? Yeah. Well, uh, I, I harken back. Uh, I felt it was really important that, that uh, Pat uh, Casey had the opportunity to talk to his staff about um, uh, his decision. And that happened on a Tuesday that night. We posted, uh, uh, followed obviously all the, uh, the protocol around, around the post, uh, interviewed uh, uh, half a dozen candidates. Um, uh, obviously, Mitch is is uh, somebody that we we were very aware of. Um, he uh, was exceptional in the interview. Uh, confirmed Kerry everything that I had hoped uh, I knew about him as it related to being a leader, a developer of men, uh, a, f a fit in terms of what we were looking for. Um, incredibly uh, connected uh, in his. Uh, relatability, I'll call it, to student athletes, um, uh, that care uh, that he has for them, that trust that he builds with them, uh, uh, absolutely uh, rose to the top in the interview process. Mitch, welcome back. Thank when you. can we expect the new rendition, the new lyrics for Rose State Ballers? <laughs> <laughs> it's only a matter of time, right? Well, actually, um, uh, surpri surprise me, my, my best friend since fifth grade, Ryan, who um, is actually the one who deserves all the credit for creating those songs. Um, he was excited. He said, hey, anytime you need that next song coming out, let me know and we'll get on it right away. <laughs> um, but it's, those are good times. What did those teams, though, mean to you in obviously life-changing events, 06, 07? I mean, when you had your pro debut down in Eugene, that was like rock star kind of status for so many of you guys that, that turned pro and just went on bigger and better things. What kind of a special run was that for you? Uh, Honestly, um, so Andrew Andrew Moore was at the affiliate with me in Double A, and um, Ben Holmes also came in as well. He was pitching against us, and it just so happened that you know all three of us were sitting there together, and he turns on the old soundtrack, and we're all sitting there playing the music together, and it 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 got me a little choked up 
because every time around or throughout the, the collegiate baseball season, we have a large text thread that goes out amongst all of us uh, former brothers, and we talk about the experience and how excited we are for what the program's doing and how it's pushing forward. And um, I, I, I can't be more grateful for the people that I got to stand next to in, in the locker room and on the field like true men and staying connected with each of them, watching them, how they're, they're leading their communities now. I mean, this program's done tremendous things to change the lives of, of student athletes. And the cool thing, yeah, we, we won a few national championships and we, we played great baseball. But what all, what all the former players are doing right now is even more amazing. And seeing them become fathers and getting to see their kids uh, just the other day, you know, you see a picture of Joey Wong and his little one or, um, you know, Jinx and, and his little one and Gippy's out fishing with his and pulling in a big one. And, you know, it's, that's, that's the truly amazing part is the relationships that we built here. And I see it every year watching these guys come through the program and how much they take pride in it and how they bond together. It's, it's so different than anywhere else. And we look to continue that and excel even more at it. Hey, Mitch, last year we had you on the football broadcast at halftime. And you were talking about when they clo were closing in on the championship last year, playing Arkansas that final game. You were managing, but somehow you kept a close eye on that final game. What were you exactly doing? <laughs> so I was, I was in my office. And... Um, Mr. Mariner himself was, was in town, and I, I didn't want to miss a pitch. And so I got, all, I, went, I got there early, got all my stuff done, and I'm locked in on the game. And I'm, I, I, I'm not sitting, I'll tell you that much. I'm pacing and, and watching the game, and um, I, I feel a presence. I turn around, and Alvin Davis is videotaping me <laughs> in the last <laughs> inning. He's trying to get my reaction to it. And um, I already made the decision that, if the game was, was going extra innings or anything, I was going to run out, get tossed real quick, and come back in. <laughs> um, had the lineup card ready. I already had my, my speech for him. It was going to be efficient, and I was going to get back in there and watch the, watch the completion of the game. And I remember standing in there and tearing up, uh, just pure joy, watching everyone run onto the field, the big dog pile, the hugs that were happening. Uh, and so I just... I sat out there in just a, a, a big cloud, you know, during during our game and just smiling the whole time, you know. One of, not that I wasn't trying to be present right there, but I was just overwhelmed with joy for, for everyone here. One more quick thing. Uh, just talk about the, the talent of Adley. <laughs> He's amazing, right? <laughs> He's amazing. He's um, – so we were here this uh, – before the – we had to take off for spring training and – Everyone was out there. They had a, a scrimmage going on. And my wife was sitting next to me. And I was sitting there eating local boys. It's tradition. We come into town. We go right to local boys. We get some food. So we're sitting there in the stands. And I had a phone call. Uh, we had a, a, a conference call uh, with the Mariners. And I, I, I was on mute as, as others were talking. I, I turned to Marlis and I said, this kid is special. I said, just don't blink. And I pulled the phone back up. The next pitch, he hits it over the scoreboard. And I said, told you so. <laughs> and, you know, being, being around him as uh, not nearly as much as I would, I would like to be, because he is a, an amazing human being, um, you can tell just by how he walks, how he talks, how he looks into your eyes when he's asking a question. And he, he genuinely cares for others. They, they made the right choice taking him number one overall. I know he has a long, like, prosperous career ahead of him on the field, but what he's going to do for people away from the field is even more remarkable. Um, uh, what an amazing thing to, to have been a brother of his on the field with him, and he's going he's gonna to do great things uh, for the Orioles organization. This, this is the only job I've, I've ever really dreamt of. Um, 
I, so when I, was, when I was fortunate enough to interview with the Mariners, I got to sit down and share my beliefs. Sandy McKay brought me in, um, and everything that I told him, I told him I care about being selfless. I, t I care about our process day in and day out. I care about doing the right thing, and I, and I love to have fun. And he was, that's exactly where it aligned with. I said, I'm all in on this job. I was born and raised in the Northwest. This is home. I'm never going to leave it, I tell you, except if I get one call. And there's only one other job in the world that means more to me, and that's this one. And I've, I've made a million like, great relationships. Like, I love those guys, and tomorrow I'm going to head back and say my goodbyes. And I'll tell you this much, um, you know, those guys, it's not unusual to, to let, them, I, I let them know, hey, I'm going to be gone for a day. Um, I have an opportunity that I'm going to go seek. And instantly they circled around me and, and prayed on me. And, and it's, it's awesome to see that family can be created wherever you're at. To be able to em embrace your grass, as we call it, or be where your feet are and, and do those kind of things. And pro, pro, pro baseball is amazing. You know, right, right out the get-go in 2016, I'm, I'm getting guys that are coming right out of college uh, from all over the country, LSU, Pitt, um, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, you know, University of Washington, Braden Bishop, who made his debut this year, and they're people. And you show them that you care, and you go to work each and every day. You take care of what's happening in the clubhouse, and all the guys that have been around me know that I care about what they do off the field, because that directly relates to what they do on the field, and we put a lot of emphasis on that. Uh, developing, developing ourselves as human beings and as players. And sometimes people look at me and say, ah, you're such a, a college-type coach. I was like, yeah, that's where we get really good, right? Why is it any different? And it's not. And the Mariners organization is phenomenal. The people that we have, like, we have there are really doing great things. They're smart. They're, they're asking questions. They're holding each other accountable. They care about people. Um, it has been... Um, truly remarkable getting the opportunity to work with them and to develop in that in that atmosphere and I've, I, I couldn't I don't have no regrets on on taking off from there they've been very supportive they know where my passion is and since I since I connected with them they've been on board full heartedly anything we can do let us know um, and that just says to the type of people that they are you have uh Yes. How do you handle that? Amazing men, all of them, and not not just amazing men like as people, but also with their skill set. Phenomenal coaches, right? And not only that, their family. So the conversations have to go. I mean, it just happened yesterday, and uh, just getting to see everyone's face finally. Um, I'm excited to sit down and and talk with with each coach. Uh, had a chance to talk with um, Nate. Had a chance to talk with Bales, and you know, great things, great things. They're we're all in a good place, and we're gonna we're gonna continue to have the conversations and see how we can make this thing work. Um, I know that our current players and um, our future players are gonna be very excited, and we're gonna continue to make this thing right.